Welcome back everybody. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I've mentioned a few times that I'm trying to eat healthier. You know, everything in moderation. Now, I bought a lot of cookbooks in my day, but I seldom cook more than one recipe out of each cookbook. If I have a gift, it is being able to look at a recipe or a picture of a recipe and I can pretty much make it without looking at the list of ingredients. Now, the other day I was in the grocery store and I saw this magazine sitting there. <gasps> Keto. Five ingredient, 15 minute recipes, pan roasted salmon and tomatoes. And we're gonna follow this like 95% of the way. The recipe says to put salt and pepper on the fillets. <laughs> Shout out to Chef Nathan Lippy. These aren't fillets, they're fillets, right, Nate? But of course, we're going down on the griddle, so I always go down with some extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil or your favorite oil. First, on the fillet, on the fillet. I just can't say fillet, Nate. And I'm gonna go down with a little bit of black pepper. I am not following the instructions. I'll put as much pepper and salt as I want to. And today we're using the Blackstone 28 inch Pro Series griddle. I have it on high. We're gonna go meat, oil, and seasoning side down with these beautiful pieces of salmon. That's actually Alaskan sockeye salmon from Bristol Bay. Found them at the butcher shop the other day. It's been about four minutes, so we're gonna go in there and flip the salmon. Look at that beautiful color. That's gorgeous. Oh yeah. Beautiful. The salmon's looking good. I'm gonna put two cups of grape tomatoes into my apple juice. So you can have those cut in half. The recipe actually called for white wine and I didn't have any white wine. So I looked it up and Apple juice is a good replacement for white wine. I'm loosely following the recipe. A little extra apple juice in there, followed by something that you certainly don't see me use here very often, capers. The recipe calls for a tablespoon of drained capers. You can see that salmon is looking gorgeous. I'm just gonna put this in the pan here with my tomatoes and apple juice. Salmon is almost done, so we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little more salt on top and some beautiful fresh chopped basil. Veering from the recipe, I have a beautiful piece of Parmigiano Reggiano. Got this in New York when I was up there in the Griddle More tour. It's like aged three years, imported from Italy. All right, let's go in. Oh, are you kidding me? Take a look at that. Check it out, there's the comparison right there. The uh, cheese is the only real difference. The magazine says salmon is a good source of vitamin D, which helps your body absorb calcium. It also helps boost your immune system. Let's give it a try. Let's get a tomato, a caper, and some basil. Let's give it a try. That is good. This is absolutely delicious. Does that not look like it came from a restaurant? Tons of protein, like hardly any carbohydrates at all. So delicious. The taste I'm picking up is that balance or that mixture between the sweetness of the tomato and the saltiness of the capers as well as the saltiness of the cheese on top. It's just dynamite. 
healthy recipes, that's where it's at. If you go to my personal YouTube channel, Todd Tobin on YouTube, you'll see I've been talking a lot about trying to eat healthier, okay? I'm still going to bring you cheeseburgers and stuff like that from time to time, but trying to do it a lot more in moderation. Now, I've exercised on a regular basis, lifting weights and going on the treadmill for 20 years, but now I'm trying to, you know, bring the diet up to par with my exercise regime. And of course, I'm not getting any younger, just turned 50 years old. So hopefully this encourages you to get out and do something really healthy on the griddle. Hey, we're heading up camping this week and we're going to bring the griddle back up to the Rocky Mountains. That's where I got my start as the Rocky Mountain Meat Hunter. So look for some Blackstone campfire cooking recipes coming soon. Mm -hmm. Campfire is going to be, you know, ambiance. And of course, griddle is where we're going to cook. So until next time, everybody, this is Todd. Praise the Lord and pass whatever the magazine said this recipe was called. Oh, the griddle seared salmon. Salmon.